good Christmas morning, everyone, with the joy of our Savior who has come, the joy of Emmanuel, with the joy of our everlasting Father, our Prince of Peace, our King of Kings, and our Lord of Lords. I greet you all on this marvelous Christmas morning. With the joy of the Lord, we gather in the space today to share with you some of the amazing things that God is doing in the life of our church family as a gift to open on this Christmas day. You all know that a few weeks ago, we celebrated the birth of Jesus Christ in song with Yolanda Adams at the Kennedy Center. I want you to pause and think for a moment about an African-American Baptist church taking over and selling out the Kennedy Center. Well, let that sink in because you don't just walk up to the Kennedy Center and say, we like to put on a show here. You've got to bring it with the excellence and the quality. You've got to bring it with the joy of Jesus Christ and all that goes into celebrating his birth and making it known in a way that is worthy of the Kennedy Center. There's very little religious programming at the Kennedy Center, and I'm glad to be part of a church family that takes seriously lifting up the name of Jesus in excellence. A whole lot goes on behind the scenes to make that happen. Hours of rehearsal, hours of planning, hundreds of people volunteering and giving of themselves to make that glorious production happen. So on this Christmas morning, would you do me a favor? As you sit down with family and friends, as you text family and tell them to log on, I want to give you a little bit about the behind the scenes of what makes that day spectacular so you can appreciate the gift of this day. When you do a Christmas program, it never goes out of style. Once you set a standard, people will rise to it. This is not a unilateral type of program. It takes a lot of minds and a lot of hearts and a lot of sacrifice. The common denominator for this production is excellence. It's magical to be in the Kennedy Center as a Baptist church. execution of the Christmas program is the fun part, but now we're taking you behind the curtain, all for telling this story that never gets old. Challenges come up throughout the entire process. The details are so important so that everybody feels that we're working towards a goal. I think that it just keeps getting better. It all comes together in the end. Let the Lord have his way tonight. thank God for the leadership that brings us here because we have a great music and worship arts director, Dr. Joyce Garrett, and we are celebrating her on tonight. I have been a member of Alfred Street Church for 44 years. When I first came here, the Christmas productions were cantatas, like you have one book and you open that book and sing from page one to the end and they would have narration in between. But then after a period of singing cantatas almost every year, we decided to create a Christmas program and get all the choirs involved. And then as things got larger and larger, we went to the format that we have now, which is pull the whole ministry together. It's everybody coming together to do a concert. Uh, in 2011, we decided to take it outside of these walls and we took it to the formerly T.C. Williams High School and then we outgrew that space and then took it to Schlesinger Concert Hall, which is on the campus of Northern Virginia Community College. Well, as you can imagine, it outgrew that space as well. And then we had this grandiose idea of taking it to the Kennedy Center. Would people come out 
to celebrate Christmas at a large venue and a space and a platform as the concert hall. And so we put our minds together, a lot of hearts, a lot of brain power to organize this in the Christmas season of 2016. And lo and behold, we were able to fill the Kennedy Center in 2016 and it has been there ever since. Three, four. So the preparation is where I live. That's home for me. It's more about the process and seeing the growth and learning over time. We start that process in January. Myself and Dr. Garrett, we come together and we talk about how do we want to produce this in an efficient and excellent manner, including every aspect of our music and worship arts, not just the choirs, but the dance ministry, not just the dance ministry, but our drama ministry. And how do we put all facets of that together, highlighting our entire music ministry? We set the vision, we talk about the repertoire, and we kind of together start talking about what will the flow be, what songs should follow this. So the music selection process, it's one of those things that you hate, but you also love. It's a very meticulous process because it includes so many factors. It's not just picking selections, but picking the right repertoire, the flow of the program. Are we telling the message that we want to tell to the audience. Are we in a major key? Are we going to a song in a minor key? Are we highlighting enough of our own soloists as bringing a good mixture between our guest soloists and our Alfred Street Baptist Church music ministry? Are we doing it in a chronological way where it's taking them on a step-by-step -step journey of the birth of Christ? The main thing I have to do is to get the singers going. We ask for 10, 15 of your best singers from every choir. We want some sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses from each choir. And all of those singers are people that volunteer. The hearts and the labor that goes into this and have an appreciation for so many volunteers who give of their time and sacrifice of their time. And so from year to year, our ministry has continued to blossom and bloom. We pick our themes based on one of the songs that's in the repertoire. When I was involved with the TV show called Christmas in Washington, Patti LaBelle sang, Do You Hear What I Hear? in this gospel arrangement. And so we said, let's do that this year. We're going to do You Hear What I Hear, but we're going to use Yolanda Adams as the soloist. Sure, we've had many artists throughout the years, Arenda Clark Cole and Karen Clark Sheard. We've also had Shalea Frazier and Miss Ayanna Crawley. And we just continue to invite artists from all over the globe to continue helping us celebrate. Our stage technical directors, Mr. Mark Prelo, uh, is very, very big on detailed runways so that we have the adequate preparation to put on a production like this. I call it the marriage between the technology, the spirituality, and the artistry. So we take all the players of those three disciplines, those three callings, we bring them together to perform one collective presentation. Knowing that this is a journey, and it is a long journey. We start our rehearsal process in the month of September, and that carries us weekly. We have about 100 to 120 choristers that have to learn so much music because we don't use any music on the concert as far as scores. With the musicians, we have about a 50-piece orchestra. Everything is in recital format, so we're relying on our members of our Music and Worship Arts Ministry to memorize everything. For the rehearsals, the way um, Theodore has these rehearsals, it's just like, you gotta know your stuff. It's difficult music, right? It's challenging music. It's always uh, diversity in music, and it presents a level of challenge, uh, which is why I love Alva Street. It's gotta stretch you. It's not worth it if you can do this and it's easy. When I have done this program, I get a new song every time. So 
I'm, I'm grateful because it, it expands my song repertoire. It has been a little bit more rigorous this, this year just because we relying on a little bit more tech, but every year has been great. For myself, it's not just the voice that needs preparation. It's the whole experience, the gowns, the makeup, the jewelry. Even though this is ministry, it still is a performance. And so choir members have to learn how to stand for long periods of time uh, and how to look professional on the stage. All of that is a process that just doesn't happen overnight. So the show starts uh, in about two hours, and so everything is just putting everything in order. Our, our technical director, Mr. Mark Prelo, has a saying to take this to the Kennedy Center at about 97% proof. Because we don't have a lot of time in that building, we're only there on the day of, and the night before is a load-in. We start at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're on that stage trying to line up 100 people on stage, off stage, on stage, do what you have to do. We practice everything. Everything is real tight. We will have a blocking rehearsal where we're specking out the stage and choir members know where they are. We have a seating chart that says this is where you will sit, this is where the altos will sit. And then we run the whole show from top to bottom. It's a long day, right? We're there 8 a.m. all the way until like start the show. 10, 11. <laughs> right. Yeah. Our stage manager, Mark Prelo, has everything down to a second almost. Approximately 10 minutes walk. So what we did, we ran all of the songs in the level of complexity, not necessarily the order of presentation. So we wanted to get the heavy lifters out of the way first. And we have about approximately 100 voice choir, over 60 in the orchestra and band, over 30 or so dancers, so probably greater than 200 in terms of just performers. But when we add the production teams to it, uh, we may reach 225. We take much time to prepare and prep for this. So rehearsals have been long, but they have been great. We are doing about six or seven dances tonight. So my big takeaway is nothing but God, because listen, sometimes I'm in rehearsal like, I don't know if we're going to get finished with this. We only got a couple more rehearsals and it's not looking the way it should, but all glory to God. At the end of the day, we are all ministers and we minister through our movement and in our bodies. So that is what we're going on stage to do. So whatever happens is what he wanted to happen. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of sweat, it's a lot of volunteer time, energy, and effort, but it's for the best purpose that we could ever be, and that is for the birth of our Lord. And that's the reason for the season. Are you guys ready for the show? We are so Very ready. Very excited. Very excited. Happy what, to be here. What, uh, this is uh, my third year coming into Christmas celebration. Mm -hmm. So me and my family come to it, you know, each year. We're looking for hope. We're looking for joy. Mm -hmm. We're looking for love. We're looking for peace. And I can't wait to see it demonstrated in the Kennedy Center. I am more than ready for this performance. I've been waiting for it for a long time. It's the anticipated event of the holiday season mm -hmm. for Alfred Street members. So, yes, we are definitely ready to go. Because it's the Christmas gift I give my family. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm taking it off the street. Yes. <laughs> well, it's showtime now. Getting dressed, getting that makeup on, getting beautiful and handsome, and the excitement is building. Before it was sort of an ideation and abstract about how we're going to pull all this off. Are people going to come? Well, yeah, we sold out in almost a week, and people are ready to see this story unfold. We're at the Kennedy Center, so I, I got some some higher expectations okay, here, and I think right. I think they're going to deliver. We're going to have Yolanda Adams tonight. Oh my God! And our <laughs> choir is pretty amazing, so it's going to be good. The common denominator for this production is excellence. Excellence is who Alpha Street is. We've all been a part of just that that standard. The standard is excellence. So when the lights come on, you have to know it. Each time I play, I serve. I ask God that. My plan would bring glory and honor to his name, but mm -hmm. also encourage and, you know, uplift somebody. One of the things I do look forward to every year is the orchestra. Each instrument is its own person, but when they come together, it's just glorious sounds. So I do look forward to the orchestra. And so when we're together and we're singing on one accord and like it's all the right notes, it's powerful, it's beautiful. There's nothing like it. I would like to thank Alpha Street Baptist Church for uh, allowing us to be a part of this. 
I would like to thank Pastor Wesley for believing in us because it does not come to everybody. I don't have a lot of friends that have played at Kennedy Center multiple times and can say that they've played with their church that they're part of and they're a member of at the Kennedy Center. I think that Dr. Joyce and T are brilliant creators and directors of music and so it's just, it's always exciting. It's always an honor to just be a part. Dr. Garrett, you are phenomenal. You have transcended what people think a minister of music or director of music is. Working with her is a treat, it's a joy. Like I look forward to working with her in any capacity. She has been just a wonderful person to be able to check in with. Uh, she's like a musical godmother to me. I actually used to work with her in a different entity with the Washington Youth Choir and so she heard me sing back then and has invited me to come to the church at Alfred Street Baptist Church to sing. So I'm grateful. Theodore is, man, he's just attention to detail. The way in which he formulates things in rehearsal is just like, if there is a dot on that note on the sheet, if you try to go past, he said, no, 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 honor that rest. T is an, a, a phenomenal talent, a gift to the world. T, I want to thank you. Uh, met you 14 years ago, and you challenged me knowingly and unknowingly. One, two, three. A little more up. Uh. Third one, bigger. At least three. Just be on the top, don't eat the easy night. Uh, uh, uh. Feliz Navidad. Uh, uh. Feliz Navidad. Uh, uh. Feliz Navidad. Prospero Ando y Felicidad. Keep going and go. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I absolutely love Alfred Street Baptist Church. It's just a great place to be. It's a great working environment. It's an honest working environment. I live in Florida, and so now I just make the trek to Alfred Street quarterly to basically go to church, sing in the choir, just be with my family here at Alfred Street. So I flew back a few days ago just to be a part of the Kennedy Center celebration. It's also a loving environment. It's just a great place to be. And I enjoy making music with such wonderful musicians. It's always a fun time, and this is why. <laughs> No, um, but go. this this is what makes it fun, right? We 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 have fun. We joke. love each other. Yeah, like, we it's, joke it's, all day. It's always a joke. I mean, we just have great camaraderie through this production. Every year, you meet new people. You might see people you saw the last time. And every time, it becomes more special. It's just amazing how God has blessed this music ministry and this church family to continue to enlarge our territory, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so we've been blessed and fortunate again to be at the Kennedy Center this year. And they came to us and said, hey, you, might, you guys might want to consider doing multiple nights. And so we are looking at that uh, for next year. What brings me joy is that a African-American church with mostly volunteers can produce and execute something on a world-class level. The next level is for this to be seen nationally. I would love to see Alpha Street Baptist Church Christmas production televised. The quality, the work ethic, 
the excellence is no different. I always feel like when I'm walking to the stage for rehearsal, everyone's prepared, everyone knows exactly what they're doing. We have our information that we need in advance, and it's just a well-oiled machine. I could eventually see it going on tour. It's Alpha Street, so we are always doing things big, so who knows where it will go next. Listen, it's not going to get no better than Alpha Street. It's not. I searched all over. Lift your hands. Can't find nobody. I don't I search high, it's too slow. Come on. Okay, final bite. Love y'all. Real rap. Isn't it amazing what God has done? The Bible says, Now unto him that goes exceeding and abundantly above all that we ask or think. This was more than just a production. It was more than just a concert. It was an expression of the joy and the love of Jesus Christ in the hearts of a church family that loves to make glorious the name of Jesus. I pray that you've enjoyed the road to the Kennedy Center and so much so that you'll join us next year because by the grace of God and by the faithfulness of our members, we'll be right back. As a matter of fact, we sold out this year and the Kennedy Center said, hey, you all might want to look into multiple performances. What a testimony that the Kennedy Center went to Alfred Street Baptist Church on more than one occasion. Listen, I pray that you enjoy the gift of this Christmas with family and friends, and most of all, continue to unwrap the ever, ever giving love of Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas, family. Do you hear what I hear? An Alfred Street Baptist Church Christmas celebration.